And it's going to be Samoa's finest who will take it. Going to see a lot of short kickoffs today. And the reason you're going to see that is you don't want to give up the big return. Yeah, big, big thing in Madden 18 this year. Kick returns are a thing. Once you get some momentum, you find a hole, maybe a quick spin move. You can score relatively easily sometimes on kickoff returns. You sky kick it, you kick it to a fullback or a tight end. You don't have to worry about that. But as Samoa gets set on offense here, he's really looking to limit his turnovers. He wants to play good run D on defense, but on offense, play smart, don't force reads, take what's given to him by playbook. And this is salary cap mode, especially for those hanging around here at the United Club here at Levi's Stadium. That means they get a pick from any player in the league. They got legends they can pick from, and he's using the rookie, Deshaun Watson, from Clemson as his quarterback, and he takes a sack here on first down. And your guy, Scott, from Clemson taking yeah. a hit right there, not dealing with the pressure very well off the edge. Not the way he wanted to start this thing off with a big sack on the first play of the game. So Samoa's finest in white. Playbook in the red and gold. Second and 18. Richardson. And a small gain out to the 36. Of course, that's Paul Richardson from Seattle. That's right. And that's really more what he's going to be looking to do here. Don't drop back 10 steps into the pocket. Nice and easy. Contain yourself. Make a read. Get the ball off to the speedy Richardson. Third and 11. All right, 40 seconds gone by in this one. Deshaun throws oh, it up top in Westbrook. Oh, boy. And Samoa's finest has struck first. He said he wanted to come out aggressive. That's how you come out aggressive. On third and 12, you beat a man over the top. That one-on-one -on -one coverage to the outside. Really, really nice start right there for Samoa's finest. So takes an early 7-0 lead on a three-play 63-yard drive. And Samoa's finest made a real point before this game started. He said, I want to make sure I shout out my lab partner, my guy, Prodigy, coming out of Fontana, California. Might have had something to do with that touchdown pass right there. Might have yeah. seen something in the lab before this game. Yeah, Prodigy was a top eight player that we saw at the Madden Challenge down in Los Angeles. Good I mean, I'm telling you, the youth, you talked about the youth movement. Yeah. It's coming. It's, it, it's here. These older players. <laughs> That's the reason I'm, you know, I'm not playing anymore. RG's not playing anymore. Justin Chow, he's in the building. He's not playing anymore. It's because these young guys have come through and run us off the boards. And it's funny, in talking to Playbook before this game, he self-describes himself as an old head. He's 25 years old. <laughs> so, you know, he, he's, he's, he's uh, the, the wise uh, older man of this group, but we'll see if he can uh, bounce back on this drive. Garoppolo. And that's a, that's a hardcore 49er fan, oh, yeah. right? you got so many quarterbacks to choose from. He wants Jimmy G as his guy. Anybody can talk about being a diehard <laughs> Niners fan, but this kind of money, this kind of points are on the line in Madden to go with Jimmy G as your QB, that's a real fan right there. Second and nine, trailing by a touchdown, his playbook. Here on his opening drive, since Westbrook in motion. Jimmy G gets sacked back at the 32. Deion Jones. Not great pocket presence right there from Playbook. A big thing that he mentioned before this game was emphasizing balance. Last year, his offense came up short. He felt like he only had one formation that he could go to. This year, he feels like there's a few different formations on offense that he can turn to if he feels like he's being boxed in one. So far, not so great. So Daquan Jones, the left end on that sack. Throws a low ball, oh, and Allen go. picks up the first down and more at the 30, the 20, the 10. We're tied up here in Santa Clara. Might have ourselves a shootout here, Scott Cole. Unbelievable. Third and long again, capitalizing on the outside coverage. Quick slant route to the crib. Very nice comeback from Playbook. Checked that momentum right when it could have run away from him after a quick score when he was on defense. This is, this is shaping up to be something special here, Scott. Yeah, that's the nice thing about Keenan Allen. He knows what to do with it once he gets some space. 7-7 seven, seven now. Once again, we talked about the short kick, so you don't give up the big return. And Samoa's Finest will go to work at the 30. Samoa's Finest looking to really utilize the roster that he's constructing for himself. He built his team around his play style. He's not going to be afraid to throw the ball. I'm also interested to see if he wants Deshaun Watson to maybe break, break containment and start getting outside if he can. Here is Watson, finds Randy Moss for a gain of an absolute zero. 
We've seen that guy before in a couple of uh, big Madden games, haven't we, out there Randy on the outside? Moss, I have heard of him. Yeah, he's a fairly decent NFL player and, and arguably one of the best Madden receivers that this game has ever seen. So second and ten. Richardson tries to spin. They'll mark his forward progress at the 34. Another big thing you're seeing in Madden 18, get a guy with some speed on a drag route coming across the field, get the ball out quickly with the jukes and the spins as, as powerful as they are this year, that can turn into a big play pretty easily. You're going to see a majority of zone blitzing right. all day from the competitors. Third and six. And Deshaun finds Westbrook, and it's a first down for Samoa's finest. We saw the speed of Deshaun Watson right there. Keep that, that flat defender right there. Had to play the run just in case. Let's the corner out come open. Very nice read right there. Ball at the 40, we'll hand it off to Drake. Oh. And Drake will swerve his way. And he scores on the ground and then he dabbed on him. Watch out, I, I'm gonna just say it once. Scheman knows <laughs> that when you try and dab across the goal line, it doesn't always go well, but nice sticky little run right there. Finding some space. So most fine is not playing like a guy who's playing in his first live event right now. He's playing like a guy who belongs up there. He's not intimidated. He's going right at playbook. The guy with significantly more experience in this, this live tournament setting. Scored on his first two drives, puts the pressure back on playbook. There's TG3 uh -oh. and there Gurley. Oh, had one man to beat, but it's got great position at the 41. I thought one more cut to the outside. He might have had Gurley going all the way to the crib there, but there you go. That's exactly why you see those sky kicks going to the tight ends, going to the fullbacks. The last thing you want in Madden 18 is a guy like Todd Gurley with space to run and the ability to pull off a juke or a spin like he just did. Semi-final number one here, folks. We got three games total today. Winner will go to the finals with a chance to go to the Pro Bowl to represent the San Francisco 49ers. Garoppolo to Westbrook. And that's close to the first down. It'll be first and 10 at the 31. There's Samoa getting a little bit of taste of his own medicine right there. Drag across the field. Nice little dump off. This game can be simple. If you really just make sure you find your read quickly, get the protection that you need if you're dropping back to pass. It doesn't have to be difficult. Very nice throw. Yeah, both these guys using D.D. Westbrook. Letting them carry the load here early. Jimmy G rolls, and he'll just throw it away. Second and 10 for Playbook. Playbook also mentioning before the game, his offense is all about timing. When he throws the ball, he needs to have those 91 route runners out there because if he doesn't, the timing gets messed up. He's getting bumped off the line. Things get out of whack. He doesn't want to force the ball. If play like that, things are boxed. Go ahead and throw it away. Live to see another day. So second down. Westbrook in motion. Garoppolo in the gun. Garoppolo will just check it down to Westbrook. That's going to be a gain of four. For a guy who felt like his offense wasn't quite, quite there last year, so far I think it's like he looked very consistent. He's had a nice little balance, not running the ball as much as we usually see in Madden 18. Very consistent, semi-prolific drive going on here in the first quarter to try and get himself back into this ballgame. Last year he looked like a Marine. He came in, he had the buzz cut, <laughs> he was ready to go. Now he's got this California flow going. That's right. Sunshine, he's feeling good out here. Third and six. Boy, it was beautiful yesterday out here, I can tell you that. California weather did, did not disappoint, that's for sure. And Garoppolo takes off the first down to the 17. First big, big run of the game by a quarterback, not by Deshaun Watson, <laughs> but Jimmy G. Not, not necessarily the most fleet of foot guy. I would never think of him really as a scrambler, per se. But this is Madden football, and if you see some space, Go ahead and cover that ball up. Make sure you don't get hit sticks, but that's a nice little run. Yeah, Garoppolo's got enough wheels to be serviceable to sure. be able to get away. He's not hes not a cement block like, like a Brady would be. Right. Of course, Brady really doesn't need those wheels. When, when, you, uh, when you have the line in front of you that Brady does, <laughs> when you have the game plan that Bill Belichick's providing for you, yeah, you can, you can just take it easy in the pocket. Don't get hit too much. Samoa's so fine is getting caught with his line on aggressive, and that's why... We had the jump snap there. So first and five at the 12. And he's got to be enjoying that seven-point lead, but playbook on a drive. Yeah, playbook's moving the ball. You know, this, this is uh, something that Samoa's going to have to deal with going forward into the second half, especially. 
Playbook's going to keep throwing the ball. If he's seeing open flat routes, if he's getting drags open over the middle, there's no reason for him to stop what he's doing. He looks comfortable. He doesn't look like he's panicking. It would be really nice for him to get seven right here, but he could still kick three, feel comfortable, and, and just lock up on defense. So he's going to have a first and five after the timeout. Sometimes you just call timeouts because you, you don't like what you saw or you want to set up some audibles. Kind of like Sean McVay yesterday sprinting the 40-yard dash down to call a timeout. Nice user. Gurley gets wrapped up for a loss of one. So we got a second and six inside the red zone. Clock moving here at the end of the first quarter. You see a big differentiator right there between pretty good Madden players and guys who are playing on this stage. User ability, shooting the gap, blowing up the run in the backfield. That's picture perfect right there. The playbook is really taking his time here on this drive. You can see Samoa sort of looking around, looking into the crowd. You ever have that guy you're sitting on the couch with? You're like, pick your play already, man. Let's go. I got things to do. You know, that, that, that's, a, that's a veteran move. You know, yep. if, if he can get the young guy a little uncomfortable, kind of squirming in his chair a little bit. Playbook knows he's been here before. He knows he belongs. I think the more anxious that Samoa's finest is, that's only going to play to, to Playbook's benefit. Hands it off to Gurley on the delay. And TG2 falls to the nine. That's going to make it third and short. As a Rams fan, seeing Gurley in the Niners <laughs> jersey. I know we are in Levi's Stadium. I can't get over it, but he's using him well so far. He needs to find ways, much like the real life Rams, get Gurley in space, get him the ball through the air, get some stretches maybe to the outside, use his tackles to set up some blocks. So a key third down here at the nine yard line for playbook. This is such a tough spot to, to move the ball. Goes up under center. Jimmy G, no one open. He's got to scramble and he'll throw it away and probably have to kick three here. Yeah, I think he's going to take three, which is, the, which is the smart move. Again, another smart play. You know, you're inside the 10. You know that passing inside the 10 this year's Madden is very, very difficult, even if you're throwing those high point or low point balls. Don't force it. Take three points. Trust in your defense. He knows that he has hard hitters all over his secondary. Eventually, he's banking on a turnover at some point in this game, whether it's a pick, whether it's a fumble. I think that was a really good drive right there. Playboy should feel good about that. Well, he hasn't stopped him yet. Samoa's finest from Union City, California, has scored on his first two drives, and this time returns it to the 29. Yeah, Samoa's finest on defense. You know, he, he bend but didn't break, which, which is all right. He should be happy with three right there. So far, his offense has looked exactly what he wants it to be. It's balanced. He has a running pass, or excuse me, a passing touchdown, a rushing touchdown. He's working within himself, running a little bit of bunch, mixing up the formations a tiny bit. So far, Samoa's looked very strong on him. Sean Watson, the rookie, will be sacked back at the 21, and he's going to go with a little bit of tempo here. And of course, right on cue, takes the sack on first down, right as I say, his offense is looking good. Like you said, yeah, a little no huddle here. I'm interested to see what he goes with. The yeah, only reason you go no huddle is because you saw something. Mm -hmm. You missed a read. And this time it's not open because it's usered. He playmakers Westbrook. But Westbrook drops it at the 21. Playbook with a little emotion. Nice, nice, nice little fired up there. Good to see Playbook kind of get himself locked into this thing. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of overcompensation maybe right there by Samoas. You know, he got the sack on first down. He sent a little heat. He blocked his running back and his tight end. Only had three receivers out. That could be tough, even with a user playmaker. That's a really tough way to get open in this year's Madden. I don't, I don't like the tempo there. I, you know, these players are too good. They'll make adjustments. Third and 18. Watson rolling, throwing. Trouble. And almost threw an interception. Only dropped because that was Reggie White that was back in coverage, the Reverend. We'll let that slide. Again. He, he's more about getting after the quarterback. He doesn't need to be hanging on to those balls. That's the first time we've really seen Smo kind of pressured outside the pocket and forced kind of a bad throw on third and long. Now from his own 21. Tough decision. I think this is the right call. You know, he did get a, a stop and hold him to three last possession. Just, just get rid of this ball and get yourself on defense. Really couldn't get over that first down sack. Of course, Reggie White, the minister of defense. Changing the camera angle on the punt. That's, a, that's something new. I haven't seen that. That's one. a new one on me yeah. also. I haven't seen that much in the uh, in the Madden community, but 
You know, everybody who plays this game at a high level has their has their thing. You know, it has something that's going to make them feel comfortable, whether it's a routine before the game, whether it's a certain camera angle, whether it's a way that they click on to their defender. Whatever works, whatever gets you here. That's what I say. These guys are literally making 10 to 20 adjustments on both sides of the ball insane. before the snap. It's really a, a game of chess, and that one's just too far for Keenan Allen. I think that's something that people underestimate when it comes to, to professional Madden players, people playing competitively. Just the physical hand-eye coordination, the physical fast twitch muscles in your hands that are required to be so talented at this game. Like you said, you're making six, seven, eight adjustments on defense before the snap. That's not something that everybody can do, especially old guys like us. Yeah, girly. I'm way older than you, Dave. <laughs> Trying to be relatable here, you know? It's I could be like an older uncle to you. <laughs> I'll take it. Uncle Scott. <laughs> you see Playbuck looking on. By the way, those jerseys are fire. Really nice. 49ers really stepping up. Hooking these guys up. Third and 13. Ball placed at the 49. Garoppolo. And Gurley. Will pick up about four, and I'm expecting him to go for it here. Yeah, that's a play right there where if you're watching a real NFL game, you're saying, what are they doing? Why are they checking down for a couple yards? He knew from the beginning of that play, this is four down territory. He's going for it. Fourth and eight to a professional Madden player is absolutely nothing. This is what they live for. He absolutely has a play cooked up just for this exact situation. It's five-minute quarters, 30-second play clock, so you don't get the amount of possessions you would get in a normal NFL game. Fourth and eight, Garoppolo, and he'll be wow. sacked. The 45 and Samoa's finest showing some emotion. I love it, a little Tiger Woods fist pump <laughs> right there, very nice. That was a huge play right there. There he goes, looking out to see his fiance and his son out in the, out in the crowd. He's, he's holding it down for his entire family here for, for all of Union City, California, not too far away. Very exciting, he said that this is gonna be the absolute just a lifelong dream fulfilled if he can find his way to Orlando to represent his squad from the 49ers. He's been watching them since he was a little kid. Right now, he's showing up on the big stage. Well, the greatest Madden player of all time, Problem, is a huge 49ers oh, yeah. fan. He just became a proud papa. So we could have Samoa's Finest and Baby Prob in a Madden 2036 matchup. <laughs> you're, you're, you're playing the long game, Scott. That's right, like that. that's right. And Watson will work his way to the 33, and that'll be the two-minute warning. There's no way he gets the playoff here. Four-point lead, did get the ball to start the game. This is a key possession. Yeah, if he can get seven right here, he will be really, really in good shape. Even though, he, like you mentioned, he's not going to be getting the ball to start the second half. Being up two possessions, going on to defense, especially after he just had a huge fourth down stop and a big sack. The momentum is clearly in Samoa's finest way right now. That was my way of saying congratulations, Problem yeah, I was and say, Mrs. B. Yeah, that's right. Congrats to both of you guys. What I'm curious about is if Baby Prob is going to be a Niners fan or a Vikings, <laughs> a Vikings fan. fan. I know yeah, uh, Mrs. B is a huge Vikings fan, so sure. we'll have to see how that shakes out. My money's on B for the record. Normally the wife yes, wins out, and that, that's how it should be. As it should be, exactly right. Westbrook nice pulls it in at the six-yard line, and just like that, he's in the red zone. I call it the dead zone. This is the toughest six yards in Madden. I know it's the dead zone for me when I play because <laughs> it becomes very, very tricky to be down here. Last year's game, Madden 17, you see a lot more high point passes to tall players like tight ends. This year's game, the zones are so strong. The field is compressed so small. It's really, really difficult to score down here. Bunch to the right. Well, bunch under center. You don't, you don't see as much nope. of that as usual as the, as the shotgun version. Stretch it out to Drake. And the former Crimson Tide loses two yards. There you go. That's a cornerback staying home, crashing down on a stretch run. Midfield, if you're lined up on the opposite hash, that's a different kind of run. You might have a different kind of blocking setup. Down in the dead zone, that's not going to fly. Of course, you have Samoa's Finest with Todd Gurley. Drake from Alabama. Big game on Monday night. Huge game. I'm a little salty as a Clemson guy. I'm a little salty. I don't want to talk about <laughs> Second and goal. And Drake will move it down to the four-yard line. At least you got the South being represented, though. Sure. Right? You, got, oh, yeah. you, got, you got your region uh, heavily represented in the National A lot of people be game. loading up the Camaro oh, to go yes. to that one. Oh, yes. <laughs> that, that should be a great game. I'm looking forward to that. Also motion out. Third and goal. He's going to run with Deshaun. Wow. 
And we saw this actually in the classic, the little quick hike and go. And that was a huge touchdown for Samoa's finest. Yeah, really nice kind of misdirection right there. Sending the running back in motion out onto line up on the line of scrimmage, looking like a passing formation, quick little QB draw. Very impressed with Samoa's finest so far. On offense, he's looked in control. He's not panicking. He's executing exactly what he said he wanted to do. This right now, this minute and what, 20-ish seconds that uh, Playbook is about to have right now, absolutely must get points on the board, even, even though he doesn't have any timeouts. We He's usually lost. see that done with Michael Vick. Michael Vick, the legend. That's right. Is usually where you see that play run. But Deshaun Watson, they boosted his stats mm -hmm. up. It's a 95 overall, 90 on the speed category. I know that fired you up. Your Clemson guy getting, yeah, sure. getting some boostings. That's pretty awesome. I remember watching MC Gusto with uh, Mike Vick down at the, the Dolphins Club Championship, making people look silly on the outside. And Garoppolo can't get away. We talked about this. He's, Playbook's a huge Niners fan. He's using Jimmy G instead of like a Deshaun or a Michael Vick. Is that decision maybe hurting? I know we're here in Levi Stadium. Right. I know I'm skirting on the line of danger. <laughs> but to sometimes fall in your heart, maybe not pay off. Sure, sure, absolutely. Especially when you're not being able to not able to get the kind of pass protection needed to protect a guy like Jimmy G. You see right here, he actually did do a nice job of blocking the right amount of guys. Absolutely, Scott. You need to play your game if you're a Madden player. If you're a guy who likes to have some QB stick, you want to get outside the pocket and, and make some plays, then yeah, Jimmy G is probably not the guy for you. I think Playbook is really trusting, like we said at the top, in those route running ability of his receivers. He's trusting in his scheme, trusting in the timing of his routes. So far, he hasn't had the time to let those routes really develop downfield. Samoa's just screaming at him. He's out of timeouts. 71 seconds left in the half. He's trailing by 11 points. Garoppolo. Uh -oh. Throws it into coverage, and it's picked off. That's the legend Paul Krause from the Minnesota Vikings. And if you're new to watching Madden, you do not throw the ball around this guy. Never, ever, ever. One of, one of my favorite, if not, my, yeah, probably my favorite secondary player in the game of Madden. That's off his back foot, across his body, across the field. Not to mention to Paul Krause, not a great read. I have written down here on my notes, Smoe's finest. He wants to send heat and force bad reads. Well, there you go. Well, if he can get three here, I know he's out of timeouts, but that would make it a full two possession game. Really the one thing he did not want to have happen on that first down. Just happened, took a sack, brought himself out of field goal range. The other thing is, you want 11 to be the lowest the lead is here at the half. So Absolutely. it's a risk reward situation. That's right. This could, this could turn into a pick six going the other way if a bad read is made here as well. Watson finds Randy Moss on a little playmaker and the clock is moving. Why don't you explain Playmaker for folks that are just watching Madden here in Santa Clara? Playmaker, a huge feature, especially on the competitive scene when the zones are so great, the defensive coverages are gonna be really complex. You can roll out with your quarterback, you can, the receiver that's closest to you, you flick that right stick, up, down, left, right, whichever way you flick it, that receiver's gonna start taking off, find a hole in that zone, like you just saw right there, up the field. We saw it, a, a big play happen with Skimbo. Uh, he won his game at, the, at the, uh, the Classic with a big user Playmaker play. A nice clock management there, running with Drake, not taking a sack, and now he has the opportunity to take a two-touchdown lead. And Dan Carpenter puts it up, and it is good. One tick on the clock, but how about Samoa's finest? Showing up right now, absolutely kind of stunning this crowd right now. I think Playbook had a lot of confidence coming into this. He felt like he was the more experienced player. So far, that really hasn't mattered at all. Samoa's finest has not looked scared, not looked shook whatsoever. If you told him that he had a two-touchdown lead going into halftime, I think he'd be pretty fired up. Well, that is the score at the end of the first half. 24 to 10 in semifinal number one. We got a good one coming up in semifinal number two. But rare, the man right there, Playbook, is thinking about that first half and what could have been. Woo, Dave. Yeah. He's playing through that pick in his head right now, I think. That pick is gonna haunt him for a little while. Yeah. He needed to get points on that drive. The last thing that he could do was turn the ball over, even if he didn't get points. He turned the ball over basically in field goal range already. You know, down two scores, this game is not over by any stretch of the no. imagination. There's tons of Madden left to be played. 
he's getting the ball at half, which is also great. That's that's very that, key. That first drive is going to be really, really crucial to him. If he doesn't get points on the board, this might be a long second half. Let's take a look at the first half highlights here. Brought to you by our fine folks at AMPM. Appreciate them having us up. And right off the bat, he goes up top. One-on-one -on -one coverage all day. He had a step, maybe even two or three steps on him. That's money. Low throw there to Keenan Allen. And that got playbook off to the races. Yeah, a, a slightly different way of getting open and busting downfield. Nice little in route there. Keenan Allen having a heck of a season. Continue it in Madden. And he gives it to Kenyon Drake, who just sort of does the modern day swerve on the ground <laughs> for the touchdown. Volterax would be pleased with that one. The little, the little ground swerve going on. Nice stick work on that run. And then Garoppolo just was put in a box. And then a nice play there by Deshaun Watson. And that puts Samoa's finest up on top, 24 to 10. How big was that field goal there at the end? Yeah, really big to get himself up to 14 points, two touchdown lead. And again, having that fourth down stop be a sack, not just a turnover, but a sack that put him basically at midfield to start that drive. He's winning the offensive game. He's winning the defensive game. He's winning the field possession game. So far, Samoa's finest just needs to keep doing what he's doing. Got a good crowd out here hanging That's out. Right. What's They're up? just walking around. You can <laughs> see the five Super Bowl uh, trophies, Lombardi trophies. They're going through uh, the museum here. The cool thing for me, I talked about it. I was a Clemson guy, so anything, Dwight Clark is always <laughs> like, wow to me. So, big second half. What does Playbook got to do here starting off? It's almost a must score situation. Oh, absolutely. Definitely a must score situation. Playbook needs to start strong. And you, we saw in his first drive of this game, he looked pretty good. He yeah. wasn't forcing things. He was throwing the ball a lot, but he wasn't trying to force the ball into the seam, force the ball into the corner. Take what he's giving you. Don't panic. Keep playing your game. I think Playbook's going to find himself back into this ballgame. On the other side, Samoa, he's got this 14 point lead, but you can't get, you know, Woo, you can't say it's over That's yet because right. it's not. Keep it coming. I mean, he's been sending heat at him. He's been blitzing and forcing those bad reads. You can't stop doing that. Like you said, it's easy to, to play that cover four, to play that cover three, Babel. Drop those guys deep in coverage. No, keep sending heat. Put the pressure on playbook. Keep doing what you're doing. Well, we're just moments away from the second half kickoff here live from Levi Stadium, which is one of the most beautiful facilities we have in the entire league. Of course, I'm looking forward to get up there at Minnesota. Ooh, in that, February, huh? That'll be February. Of course, that'll be a little different weather than they have <laughs> here in uh, Northern California uh, at the Super Bowl. But you can see these guys know how big this second half is going to be. And I, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit shocked here at the 14-point lead at the half. No, I am too. I think, you know, in talking to Smos Finest before this started, he said he was confident. He said he felt good. But I thought there was a little bit of doubt maybe behind his eyes when he said that. He has absolutely proven me wrong in this first first half. He just came out fearless. Really cool to see. Short kick again. So playbook will start at the 32-yard line. This like, is painful. I mean, you're a huge 49ers fan in playbook. You did not play well in the first half. Now the pressure has mounted. Especially after feeling like last year when his first appearance here, he didn't do exactly what he wanted to do, didn't represent his play style the way that he wanted to. Yeah, I mean, like we said, there's a lot of Madden left, but at the same token, if he doesn't score here and then Samoa gets a score on his possession, that's pretty much going to be a ball game unless he can string together some kind of turnover to a score like we saw in the final with Drini and Young Kiv where we saw what was it, 30 points within the span yeah, of four sure. minutes, five minutes? You know, you can't really bank on that happening. So a good, consistent drive here. Doesn't need to score in two plays. Just go ahead and move the ball consistently. And let Todd Gurley work. Second and nine at the 33. Playbook looking downfield. And Westbrook with a second drop of the game. Heard those footsteps coming at him right there, I think. Not, not even any contact, just right through the hands. That's a tough break on a second and nine. Probably would have made that eh, about a third and five, third and six maybe. That's a big difference. Those three, four yards can make a huge difference on a big strike third down conversion. Of course, see the dip and dots on the back. It's creep name. Oh, everybody's got a creep name, Scott. <laughs> you gotta have a creep name. Third and nine. Except for a couple big plays, his offense has been very stagnant. Pressure Garoppolo! Again. And have you heard of Von Miller? Welcome. <laughs> that guy, uh, I believe, uh, had a pretty good Super Bowl a couple yeah. of years ago. Yeah, you may have been in attendance for that one. Yeah, that's, uh, 
that's the name of the game right now. You know, we, we, we see Playbook dropping back, trying to let his routes develop, trying to let his blockers do what they can do. The block sheds, the, the heat, and then you have a guy like Von Miller coming off the edge. I mean, that's all. That's just too much to contain sometimes. I can tell you, Skimbo, well, you know, one of the greatest players in the world, was really banked on that Von Miller earlier in the year. Showing out today, fourth and 17. Here's a prayer. And it won't be answered, and Samoa's Finest will take over at the 25-yard line. And just like we saw in the first half, Samoa's Finest got sacked, overcompensated, blocked the running back and the tight end. We just saw that again on third down, get some pressure on him. He only had three receivers out there, tried to let somebody get over with a little bit of a user playmaker. I'll tell you, Samoa's Finest is playing his butt off right now. I mean, really, really impressive on defense and offense. When you go to max protection, you know, you get to the line, you call max protect. That lets me know that you don't know how to stop this blitz. That's right. It means that you're in trouble is what it means. If you're, if you're going max protect every time you throw the ball, you're in trouble. More pitch to the 23. Shout out to Stevie J. More pitch originator, the man who brought it, brought it to, the, to, to the forefront here in the Madden community. That's been, you know, it's funny to see a lot, of the, a lot of throwing in this game. Running really has been the meta. There's a lot of guys who base their offense around running the ball. Samoa's finest is having some success moving the ball through the air. Very impressive in this year's edition of Madden. Of course, more pitch hanging out in the chat right now, one of the biggest trolls. <laughs> and I mean that in a good way. As Drake works it to the 25. You gotta have some entertainment in the oh, community. Of course, you need it. You gotta have a little bit of guys who are gonna cap at you, some guys who are gonna let you know when they're beating you down. I mean, that's what this is all about. Well, these guys are letting their play do the talking here yeah. today. Samoa's finest, he's been locked in from the jump. He's, he's not worried about what, what Playbook's doing. He's doing his thing. And Deshaun can't get away from the pressure. It'll be marked down as a sack by Telvin Smith, but maybe a, an inch or two. That's a, uh, when contract time comes up, he can call that a sack, but that was really, you know, kind of marginal right there. But, you know, again, for, for Samoa, this is, this is fine. You know, he's taking three more and more time draining off of this clock. You know, it's, it's, it's really becoming more and more difficult for Playbook to find his way back into this thing, especially since, like you said, there's been one or two big plays. Other than that, he's been boxed on pretty much everything he's tried to do on offense. And this will make it a three-possession game with just a little over seven minutes left. And this one, Playbook is in a huge hole. Huge hole. This is when it's time to, uh, to throw the football here. And, you know, it's time to, to get things moving downfield. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be, a, you know, a streak or a corner. You can throw a shorter route and get one of your receivers or maybe get Todd Gurley open into the flats. But got to make some kind of adjustment right now because the, the formations that he's been running, but more importantly, the blocking schemes that he's been running are just not working right now. It's Patriots offensive playbook. One of the best books in the game. One of my favorite books in the game. He's not looked good today thus far. There we go. Gurley will reach out to the 42. So a nice run on first down. As we see here, he's going pace right away, even though it's only the end of the third quarter. You mentioned earlier in the game, possessions are everything in Madden. You're not going to get the usual amount of possessions that you would in a normal football game. He knows the clock is very much his enemy right now. Able to pick up the blitz this time. But Joey Bosa, just when you think you finally have contained the linebackers, you've ID'd the mic, and Joey Bosa gets a block shed. That's tough. That really is tough. When you do everything right and you feel like you really did have the right protection, and then a freak like Joey Bosa just block sheds his way through. Not a whole lot you can do about that sometimes. Good pickup. Finds Delaney Walker. First down in plus territory at the 48. About those Titans yesterday. Delaney Walker and his Titans. What a ball game, huh? Yeah, Delaney was a wide receiver when he came into the league. And I think it was Mike Martz who told him, You're going to be a tight end. He's <laughs> like, I'm not a tight end. He's like, If you're going to play, you're going to be a tight end. That's worked well for him. Yeah, I was going to say, I think he might have, uh, it might have worked out. It might have been the right call. One of the, one of the best physical tight ends in the, in the whole NFL, I would say. So second and 18. Third quarter, nearly gone. Even on second and 18, bringing those safeties down, really pressing, making sure that he needs to get off the line clean. And Westbrook takes a big hit at the 48. That'll get him back to at least the sticks. It's going to be a third and 10. 
obviously this is four down territory. This is a third and 10, but if he can get something eh, five to seven yards or so, make this a manageable fourth down, that's gonna go a long way. It'll open up his playbook a lot more. Garoppolo. Needs 10 yards to get a new set of downs. He forces this one in here. And Walker can't hang on. And here comes fourth down. Could be fourth in the game. Definitely fourth in the game here. Got to get this to keep the hope alive. On that last play, there was a lot of room to the right there. I thought he might take off with Jimmy G, maybe get a few five, six of those yards we talked about. Kind of forced the throw in, didn't get the animation going his way. That's where if you had Deshaun Watson, you might have would have scrambled. Sure. Yeah. All kind of room. Garoppolo. Nice out round to Keenan Allen. Huge. And in the waning seconds of the third quarter, he'll have a new set of downs. Such a hard route to stop at Madden. That 10 yard, 15 yard out. Really, really nice. He's been saving that play for the biggest play of the game. He knew he had that one in his back pocket. That was a really nice job of executing on that fourth down. Final play of the quarter. Walker. And you can see he's starting to pick up yards on first down, something he wasn't doing in the first half. Yeah, I think that this drive has actually been a really good drive for him. This is, this is a little bit of momentum building. He's reading blitz earlier as, he's, as it comes in at him, making a quick dump off to, to Delaney Walker right there. Really nice job. So second and three to start the fourth quarter. Got him again. Walker. And of course, the other thing you're seeing here is Samoa's finest is fine giving up the two or three yard drag routes. Yeah, that's why you, he, he'll, he'll, he'll make sure that no broken tackles are gonna happen. Make sure that, you know, dump offs into the flat, totally fine. He just doesn't wanna get beat over the top. So a 17 point game in semifinal number one. Ooh. Of course, we got some 49er players that'll be coming by yeah. playing with us. My man Jaquaski. Yeah, and DeForest I, Buckner, he'll DeForest be here Buckner, as well. That's right. I, Former Oregon Duck. That's right. Pac-12, quack, quack. <laughs> Second and 10 now. Great day for Madden football. And there's a truck. And breaks a tackle, steps out of bounds at the three. Delaney Walker starting to be the glitch. Yeah, really nice play again. I mean, if he's gonna keep sending heat, he's gonna keep putting Delaney Walker on a, on a drag and, and tossing it down. I do think Samoa's finest will be okay with Delaney Walker breaking three or four tackles every time he touches the ball. He'll still kind of take him checking down to those underneath routes. Well, now he can use her that route. Uh -oh. Garoppolo can't get away. And Von Miller gets his second sack of the ball game. It's that guy again as he swerves on him with a little <laughs> dance move afterwards. Yeah, that's Jimmy G is not outrunning Von Miller any day of the week, especially not today. Garoppolo up under center here, second and goal from the nine. Trailing by three possessions. Needs a little Madden magic. Somehow gets out of the pocket. Oh, no. He throws it. Okay, now if you got Dwight Clark back there, you got Joe Montana, maybe. But Jimmy, no. That was the right part of the end zone. That, that was, that, that was yes. the catch right there. And we saw Samoa, he was using his D end right there, which is not something you see a lot out of the competitive Madden guy. Sometimes no. he gets stuck on the D line. He was starting on his defensive line, and he was using all the way, block shedding, getting some pressure on Jimmy G, forcing him out of the pocket, off his back foot on the run. That throw was never going to be complete. Of course, Levi Stadium, just a little nicer than Candlestick. I have fond <laughs> memories of Candlestick Park. But Levi Stadium, just a bit of an oh, upgrade. It and it's picked off by who? Bo Jackson on defense. And there he is, the out of position <laughs> Bo Jackson. Why not? This is what's great about John Madden football. Normally you see Bo Jackson trucking people from the running back position. Why not? Go ahead and throw him in at cornerback. Game ceiling interception in the end zone. Go ahead, Bo. Do and he play. looks and smiles at his fiance. We could have a Cinderella story brewing here in Santa Clara. And, and it's something about Samoa's finest too. He said, you know, I'm confident, I wanna play this. He told me from the get-go, I'm not looking past playbook, but I know that Monsta is the favorite. I know that's the guy that I need to beat if I wanna prove myself. Looks like he might have a chance to do that if, if, if Monsta can handle business in our second semifinal game. It'll be Monsta and Mr. Splashman. Love that name, Splashman. Sounds like more of like an NBA, like, <laughs> yeah. you know. Got the Splash Brothers That's up the right. road from here. Hitting threes from the corner or something like that. Watson off his back foot. 
and he almost throws a pick. That was Ronnie Lott, the 49er legend in coverage. Really dangerous throw. There's, there's our guy, Monster, waiting, taking notes. He's gonna potentially have to play one of these guys in the finals if he makes it there. Yeah, playbook right there. That could have been a big play right there. That was off his back foot, across his body again. Right now, Samoa's finest needs to settle down, just run some clock. If he needs to punt the ball back and play D, then go ahead and do that. He knows that he's been doing that all game long. I was able to see some of those notes. He wrote, Samoa's finest, glitchy. <laughs> That's right. He's he's glitchy all around. He's glitchy even when he's not playing the game, Scott. He could be watching somebody else and he's still glitchy. It's very impressive. Fourth and inches here at his own 30. And I think this is the right call. Yeah. You might see it the quarterback sneak here from Watson. I think every time you get in this situation, you gotta see if somebody's got sneak D. He didn't get it. I don't think he did. Needed inches. Wow. Maybe got a centimeter. Yeah. That that's about as few yards as you can get, I think, while physically moving the ball forward. But I think that was the right play call, like you said. You have to check if there's going to be sneak D. It's not as powerful as it was in last year's game. But yeah, you know, clock is going to still be playbook's enemy here. Needs a lot of points in three minutes and eight seconds. Yeah, three down front. He might have been able to run the fullback. Usually the sneak's the move. Yep. And Garoppolo finds D.D. Westbrook. At the 25, 12 of 22 for 172 yards is Garoppolo, but it's just been too slow. He needs some chunk plays. Right, and it's where those yards have come, right? It's been dink and dunk, it's been checking down, it's been drag routes, it's been an out route here and there. Like you said, only that one big play in the beginning of the game. After that, Samoa's letting him just do exactly that right there. Delaney Walker gets blown up at the 17. I'll tell you what, we got some, we got, I told you, we may have a Cinderella story brewing here. This is a, this is a kind of a domination win right now if the, if the score stays where it's at. This has been convincing to say the least. The 22 year olds got to feel good about it. And as I say that playbook <laughs> gets into the end zone, has the opportunity to make it a 10 point game with the extra point. We're pretty good at doing that. We're pretty good at cursing yeah. people. As soon as we talk about how good they're doing, things start to fall apart. You know, I call a lot of basketball for ESPN, and whenever I say the guy is 100% from the free throw line, 7 of 7, clang. Yep, a brick's coming. Every, every time. Absolutely. Absolutely. So a 10-point game. 2.30 to go. The playbook's going to need to force a turnover. Three and out would also work. Yeah, he's going to trust the defense. After that last possession where he actually got a little bit of momentum on D, felt pretty good, had a, had a couple nice stops. If I was playing Madden and I don't trust my defense at all, I'm kicking an onside kick right there to try and get the ball back. In this level of competitive Madden, this is a lot of time. Playbook's just got to trust him in his scheme on defense. He knows the defense is what got him here. Trust him what got you here. He'll put some pressure on him. You know, in the, Holly, the holiday program, you know, where you can get all these items, all these players. They had a thing where Bo Jackson could literally play any position. Oh yeah. And so we see him, we got him at kicker in this one. <laughs> we see him at, in, at safety. We also see him as, at tight end. So Bo Jackson could be anywhere throughout this club championship today. He's one of the few guys who I think he could, could do, do that. that in real oh, life. Yeah. I, th I think he could have played any position he wanted to, including kicker probably. He was that kind of a special you know, when, guy. When Walter Payton was at Jackson State, mm. he kicked. Yep. He played quarterback. Yep. He played running back. You don't see that as much anymore. Do no. You? you don't see the Brady lining up uh, for any 35 yarders anytime soon. So third and 12, 2.16 to go. Hands it off to Drake, and now he's got a decision as Playbook uses his second timeout. I think you punt it away and you try to get a stop. Yeah, I think it's the right decision. A little bit too conservative, too conservative right? for me on that drive. You know, I, I do think there is obviously some value to running clock, you know, putting the ball back in his hands and making him make a drive. I would have liked to maybe see a pass on first down, maybe to play action, you know, to kind of try to loosen things up and at least keep playbook honest. But you mentioned it before the start of the drive, three and out right there. That's exactly what playbook needed. Coming off a touchdown last drive, I don't know. This, there's, there's still some time left in this ball game. He gets in the end zone here. We might have ourselves a nice little finish here. First and ten for Playbook. Just trailing by ten now. He's only got one timeout though, but he needs a score and an onside kick. 
Picks oh, up the no. blitz. Gets away from another. But the third time's the charm. Samoa's finest can't believe it. He's like, come on, man. <laughs> How many guys need to hit him? We put him <laughs> down. Yeah, I mean, it's the name of the game. You know, it's dropping, da dropping back deep on first down, not having time, not having the, the, the ability to get your routes open downfield, and taking a big sack. Every time that you're working on a drive, second and 20, second and 18, you're such a huge hole to climb out of. The defense is just too good. So second and 20 at the 37. Looking like some max protect again here. Picks it up. Throws it into Keenan Allen, and he'll pick up the first down at the 41. The importance of that user playmaker. Again, you see it there. The route isn't open originally. You send your guy out there, try and find some separation in deep secondary. Nice job right there. Max Protect actually worked out for him on that one right there. Got the clock against him, and he's trailing by 10. And Reed will take it at the 35. Clock on the move. Clock on the move, like you mentioned, one time out. In Madden, still a lot of time here, can definitely get himself on the board. There is some value to potentially maybe kicking the field goal, getting within one score possession, then just banking on trying to get that onside kick. You know that you're gonna need an onside kick regardless. Some, some guys like to get the points on the board early and then try and get the touchdown afterwards. Looks like that's what he's gonna do here. Of course, he's got Andre Reed, Bill's legend. They got beat by Jacksonville today. Tough game, tough loss. And a smart decision here. So now it's a touchdown game. You're going to put everything on some Madden magic here with the onside kick. And it'll be scooped up by Randy Moss. That's a good guy to have on the hands team. He's a, he is the hands team. That, that's a pretty good guy to have down there for sure. He had to throw a prayer out to the Madden Angels for that one, and it's, it's not going to come up uh, the way that Playbook wanted it. But, you know, I got to say, Playbook battled. You know, he fought. He fought back. Yeah, he fought in the second half. He actually really played a much better second half than he did in the first half. That, that slow start, and, and Samoa's really three first possessions, three touchdowns, too much to overcome, really, at the end of the day. Let's see if he puts a little chew clock on here. There we go. Got to go back to the victory formation. Best formation in football right there, the victory formation. Now, in Game of Thrones, you don't want to bend the knee. But in, <laughs> in, in Madden, it's, it's, it's a good a thing. A sign of honor, <laughs> really, right. yes, uh, bending the knee. That's about as good as you can get. Blair still has a timeout. Samoa is saving his emotions until he feels like he has this belt, you know, he has <laughs> this championship sure. under control. He's going to Orlando. I think before then, he's going to keep himself bottled up. And, you know, congratulations to him. This is a big win. And, you know, Playbook has nothing to hang his head about. You know, he's, he's obviously one of the best players in California on the West Coast. He's got a long career ahead of him. You know, he's only 25. This is not going to be the last live event that we see, see Playbook at. And Watson will take a knee, and that's how this one will end. Your final score, Samoa's finest 27, Playbook 20, Samoa's Finest is heading to the finals. We'll face either F&B Monsta or Splash Man. And how do you feel? I mean, Playbook's a streamer. How much do you think that is a disadvantage to him that you don't have any sort of film sure. on Samoa's Finest, but for Playbook, you could watch hours and hours of him run his offense. Yeah, you know, there, there, there's the pro-cons, right? To, yeah. to streaming, to not streaming, to, to keeping your scheme, keeping your game plan to yourself and not letting the community see it. That being said, we need guys like Playbook. We need yeah. guys who are streaming, who are growing the community, who are bringing in new fans, who are not yet part of the Madden community. Streaming is such an excellent way to do that. You know, in some ways, I view it as almost a sacrifice. You know, if you're trying to be a competitive player, but you're also willing to stream a lot, that's really the best of both worlds. I think that... Hats off to Playbook, but a big, big congratulations to Samoa's Finest. Let's go over to my favorite fan, Joe. Take it away. Scott, I appreciate it. And I'm with the champion right now of the semifinal, moving on to the championship. That was a dominant performance. Do you feel like you made a statement in your first live event, your first game here at Levi Stadium? Uh, kind of, but, you know, the defending champion is Monster, so... Um, whoever wins out of that game, hopefully I could play him and be the real champion. You gave up uh, an opening drive touchdown defensively. What adjustment did you make? Again, you were dominant from there. Uh, yeah, I just kind of stuck with my game plan. Um, 
I just, you know, adjustments were made. Um, but I kind of had a touchdown uh, before, before I kicked that field goal at the end of the half. But I ended up possessing catching it, so that's why I was kind of frustrated a little bit. So. You spent a lot of money on Randy Moss, but it was D.D. Westbrook that really did the damage for you. What do you like about D.D. and your offense? Uh, well, see, Moss was just used for the playmaker ability because it's really hard to stop against zone coverage, uh, for the user at least. But uh, D.D. was just at his all speed. So, um, you know, I saw him in cover three. He pressed, but he wasn't aligned. So I just, you know, threw a lob and he caught it. Why Deshaun Watson? Uh, Deshaun Watson, because uh, in this game, it's about mobility. Uh, he has a lot of speed. So I would love to do Jimmy, but, you know, I just, he doesn't fit my play style. So. All right, so Samoa's finest going on to the final. What are you going to be looking for in that second semifinal game? Uh, I'm just be looking at both competitors and what they do, what they like to do, tendencies and stuff like that. So, and then adjust from there and you know try to have a good game. I gotta ask, what's on the headphones uh, while you're playing? Uh, some uh, local squad, uh, SOB, XRBE, a little bit of them, and some uh, Drake. So. All right, that's the tunes that's fueling Samoa's finest. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right, semifinal number two coming up, guys. Back to you. All right, thanks so much. She's got Kenyon Drake in the backfield, and he's got Drake in his.